हेलो माई डियर एरीज एंड वेलकम टू द होप टैरो विथ स्नेहा यू आर गोइंग टू नो एवरी थिंग अबाउट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर इन दिस वीडियो डोंट फॉर गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस वीडियो टू योर फेलो पीपल दीज रीडिंग्स आर कंप्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन द सन साइंस सो इफ योर सन साइन इज अरीज यू आर मैं टू बी हियर एंड यू आर मैं टू लिसन टू वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टेल यू टूडे सो दिस प्रडिक्शन इज फॉर द होल ईयर i'm going to provide you a general reading first and then we will talk about the different aspects of your life first of all ta- starting with love marriage career finances health children everything we will cover today in this video so let's get started and let's know a general prediction about 2024 how 2024 is going to be for you my love my aries okay so first of all i think the year might start a little slow for you but then this year is actually the year where you can find yourself where you can find your own integrity where you can find your own auras your energies this is the year of discovery my aries this is the year of finding your own spirit finding your own self and you are unstoppable this year is going to be a year where you initially might start feeling a little low and you might not share too much with people but as you start in closing and as you start telling yourself to people everybody will recognize you this is a year which is a year of providing you major fame people are going to understand what you are where you come from and specifically love it is a year of lots of love if you are looking for the soulmate partner if you are looking for a relationship if you are looking for anything that you know gives you that click on love this is your year it's going to provide you the peak the perk the positivity and the healing at the love front specifically if you are a student or if you are related to any kind of judiciary this year is going to be a year of providing you that wellness that knowledge that introspection is going to come and you are going to fly you know you're going to be on another tangent and this is a year where you feel very confident people around you will recognize you if you are in the study area if you teach people or if you are in somewhere into into you know studies or related to studies if you are student it is a brilliant year people who are related to judiciary and people who are judges they are lawyers it's going to be a very powerful and very impactful year the year actually looks good but the only problem is that you are a little in your shell you are in your vicinity you don't want to share too much you don't want to expose too much about yourself and that's allowed i think that's absolutely normal but then i'm sure that the new years 2024 has is your year though 2023 was a little bit of a you know okay okay year for you aries but 24 i am sure it's going to be brilliant okay so let us see what ganesha guidance says the ganesha guidance says to open the heart chakra yes yes i said that this is going to be the year of love you see this soulmate card so beautiful as a combination this actually tells us the relevance of the year that there's so much of love so much of love so much of integrity this year for you talking next about the love and marriage specifically let us see what the cards and what the angels have to tell us for the purpose of love i see that you are so indulged into it you so indulged into it you can have like a rebirth at the love front so if there is a past relationship which was a negative relationship or if you have a past which is a negative past you are going to now come out of that vicinity and you are coming to a life or a balance of things and you know something big is coming on the love front if you are in a toxic relationship don't mind this relationship ending this relationship might end for good and this is going to provide you that space of energy that positivity that that you know hinge that butterflies in your stomach that you've been waiting for this year if you are unmarried and you're looking for a groom or a bride you are going to get married this year 110% if you look for the right option like right people right people are coming to your life but there's one problem in this lovey dovey air 
you are only breathing love but you should not neglect your work life because work life and love life need a complete balance because if you go you know don't sing that much then that that's going to be a problem but otherwise on the love front it is going to be a thunderbolt here extremely beautiful extremely you know powerful and it's it's got everything that you need talking next about the finances and the career for you people aries finances are good and you are actually getting the rewards of your hard work you've been working very hard very very hard aries and you are going to get you know the reward for this hard work i see that the seed that you have sown years ago is now coming out it is becoming a plant it is growing into a tree it is bearing fruits and now it is the time for you to harvest it to eat the sweet fruit of your hard work which you did in the past it is going to be a very good year if you are balancing your work and your personal life it is going to be a very very good year for you i see serenity at work so whatever politics have been occurring in the past regarding your business regarding your work life it is now synchronizing for good and you are having a complete balance of things i see that with your mental you know balance and limiting the exhaustions that you had in the past this year is going to provide you good money there is a probability of adding to a property or adding to uh, you know some kind of vehicle gain so i think you know hierarchically money is also coming and money is also coming by your hard work because you're working very hard so it's going to be a brilliant year on the terms of finances and on the terms of career talking next about the health and children health and children uh i think you know because you're so engrossed into your own self and you're working too hard i think health has gone to a back seat there are postponements in your uh plans of getting into a healthy body you're not doing what you should do in order to grow the health and to be uh viable i want you to please try to take a a, a tab on things you know measure what you're eating measure what you're doing as exercising because you have to move your body you are not getting into anything big i'm sure about that but then whatever is happening is actually it's like you know neg neglecting things on the face so i don't want you to do that i want you to please stand by your health and your body your body needs priority if you are actually suffering from something in the past you should start working on it now because this is an indication that everything is super cool but if you neglect on the health then that can be a problem you may have joint spine muscle bone related issues this year so make sure that you are trying to balance this out and trying to construct a healthy body out of yourself on the area of children there can be some delays in uh, the kind of growth that you expect they can be rebellious the children can be a little you know a little bit of angry and rebellious this year try to make sure that you are you know dealing them with peace and not with agony make sure that you are listening to them absorbing from them because that's something which is needed i also feel that there can be you know uh, a little delay if you're planning for a conception and a pregnancy but the next half of the year provides you that stage of a healthy pregnant body for women who are trying to be pregnant talking about the aries in all i think it's going to be a very very productive year for you the only thing that i am worried about is your health you just have to balance that what are the do's and the don'ts for this year what does ganesha say the ganesha says that you should be around people and helping people the more you do charity this year it is going to be building yourself and your self conscious this is year of socializing this is the year of building social relationships because if you do that you you will be benefited don't try to over indulge into any kind of activities which harm human kind 
if you can do charity or anything related to that that's the best thing to move ahead and helping people this year is your mantra for success on that note wishing you a very charming very happy and a gorgeous 2024 stay subscribed on this channel the hope tarot by sneha and i hope that we are going to help you in the future as well happy new year and let's hope that everything comes into the right place this year for you